Welcome to WSO2 API Manager 4.0 Scenario Tutorials Part 6. This is a tutorial that is part of a series and can be used as a standalone tutorial on how to get the developer community involved. For more details on the scenario and general prerequisites, please watch the previous videos on this series. Let's start the tutorial. Quantis allows random users to access their APIs. Since they have now enabled the developer portal for external users to register to their system, they now expect the developer community to interact with them on building their own applications using their services. Quantis wants to provide a place where application developers can communicate with the Quantis API developers with their API-related queries. This way, application developers and external users can understand more about Quantis APIs and they could have a better developer experience. As the solution, the WSO2 API Manager Developer Portal provides many features to assist developers to use the published APIs. For example, SDK generation for APIs, documentation for APIs, ratings and comments, an API console to try out the API. Let's try out this use case. As the first step, let's set up and try out the developer community features. This demo setup contains a sample API to demonstrate these features. For that, let's log in to the Quantis developer portal. Click on the sign in button. And for the username, let's provide cindy at quantis.com. For the password, provide user123. Once you log in into the developer portal, click on this Quantis Train API to evaluate the developer community features. Under the overview UI, right after this URL, you will be able to see this tryout button. So this tryout button will direct you to the UI where you will be able to see the API resources of this Quantis train API. So you can invoke these API resources and get the relevant responses here. For that you have to generate this access token or you can click on this get test key button to generate one test key and invoke these API calls. Right after this tryout button, we also have some of these community resources such as Slack and GitHub. If you click on these icons, you will be directed to the relevant websites. And on top of that, we have these ratings given for this particular API. So this is the, AP this is the rating given for this uh, API from various users. And this is the rating that was given by you for this particular API. You can even change your ratings by clicking on top of that uh, rating that you have provided and that will result in the total ratings that were given to this um, API. And right after that, we also have these documents and once you click on this document, you will be able to download this document and view it. Since currently we have only one document, it is listing one. And if we have multiple uh, documents for that particular API, all those documents will be listed under this heading. The next one is the source. So this is basically the Swagger definition of this particular Quantis Train API. By clicking on this download Swagger, you should be able to get the open API definition of this API. Next feature that we are going to evaluate is the comments. So the users can provide comments to this API or they can uh, ask questions in order to get more details about these APIs. So these are some of the provided comments previously. And if you want to provide your own comment, you can click on this write a new comment and you can type your comment here. And you can click on this comment button. So it will be displayed with the logged in users username. So the next feature that we are going to evaluate is the SDKs. So on the left panel, you can click on this SDKs button and you will be directed to this UI. So by default, we support SDKs for 
languages such as Android, Java, JavaScript, and JBeta. So by clicking on one of these download button, you should be able to download these SDKs. Apart from these default languages, we also support various other languages which can be configured through the deployment.toml file. So for that, you have to add this apim.sdk configuration and under that supported underscore languages in an array, you can provide the languages that you want to download the SDKs for. So apart from the languages we have defined in this array, we do support further languages that are listed as comment here. So you could find more information on this in our official documentation to generate SDKs which will be listed in this uh, tutorial's description. We have provided a sample Java program created using the Java SDK downloaded from the Quantistrain API. So to try out that, let's subscribe to the Quantistrain API using an application and generate an access token for that. On the left panel, let's click on the subscriptions button. And as you can see, we have already subscribed to this Quantistrain API with the default application. So therefore, we can go and click on either the sandbox key or the production keys. So if you have not generated the consumer key and consumer secret, please generate it. Since we have already generated here, we can go and click on this generate access token button. Click on generate and copy this access token. Next, let's go to this demo package. So under that, we have this APIM tutorial folder. Under that, we have resources location. So under this resources location, we have the SDK demo 1.0.0 job. So let's try to invoke this Quantistrain API using this job with the access token that we have just generated. So in order to invoke this API, you have to call this command. And for this access token, let's provide the access token that we have generated now. Enter. As shown in the terminal, you can get the responses for this API invocation. The SDK demo jar is built using the Java SDK downloaded from the developer portal. You could check the source code for this program in the SDK demo folder. Underneath we have this source folder and you can evaluate this as well. When you download the SDK from the developer portal, for example, it could be Java SDK or any other preferred language, you have the ability to build it and use it as a dependency for your project. In this demo, the Java SDK for Quantistrain API was used and built using Apache Maven. Then you could add this dependency shown in this UI into your project to import the SDK. Sample code on invoking the API using this SDK can be found in the given resource path that is shown in this UI. As the next step in the upcoming videos, we'll deeply analyze and get some hands-on experience on integrating with data sources. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that you have learned something new and useful. We'll meet you all soon in another informative video.